Today's video, we're going to re be replacing all four shocks on my buddy's GMC Envoy. He said that the, uh, I think it was either the front left or the front right, strut started just leaking out, like all the, the fluid that was in there. So he ended up buying a set of Bilsteins, and that's what we're going to be doing, uh, replacing them today. First thing for this front suspension, we're going to take off this pinch bolt, which is 18 millimeter nut, 18 millimeter bolt. So I'm going to put it back up, wrench on it. I'm just going to take off this nut. There you go. Here's the nut. I'm going to take out this bolt. I'm just going to punch it out. Here's the bolt. The new shocks come with new hardware for the bottom. So we're going to be replacing that. Now we're going to take off this bracket that holds it on. It's just easier to pull the strut out with it. This is a 15 16 I'm just going to impact it off. Now with this nut off, this whole bracket will come off when I take the top bolts off of the strut. And it's just easier to manipulate this than trying to fight this whole lower control arm to unseize from this shock because it's pretty tight. Up here there's two 18 millimeter nuts that I found that it's easier to to work on from down here, just use a wrench. Uh, I'm gonna clean off those threads so it'll lessen the chance of uh, ruining or snapping those uh, the bolt, the studs. Now with my 18 millimeter wrench. Now I'm going to pry this bottom of the bracket off, but I'm going to have to hit it because it's seized internally. I'm going to have to hit it with a hammer just to break it loose and then it'll come out. All right, now I broke it loose. Now you can see it wants to come out. shock assembly. Now I'm going to hit this bracket off. There's nothing holding it on. There you go. The bracket's off. And the way this gets held onto here, when the bolt gets through this bracket, it sits in this ridge to prevent this from sliding up and down the shock. Now comes the, uh, the scary part. We're going to be using these strength compressors to compress it so we could take this top hat off. Now that you get a ticking time bomb, I grab I put this vise on the shock itself on the piston because the Allen key hole in the top is all rusted out so I'm not able to get onto it. I'm gonna throw some fire at this because it's pretty rusted on and hopefully it'll break it loose. I suggest, uh, or I recommend you guys get a propane torch like this. It really helps for really stuck on bolts or nuts. Now we got this whole assembly off, time to put the new shock in. Get this one out of the way. 
So we'll put in our new one. The new shop comes with a new bottom top hat. It doesn't come with a top new top hat, top hat, but whatever. We'll just reuse the old one. So this one's gonna bottom out. Then I'm gonna put our what is it called, like a perch or whatever. You want to line it up to where the end of the spring is on that flat. that in place our top hat in we're gonna place our top top hat in with our new nut now we're gonna torque it down with the 15 and it's a six size six allen head to hold it to hold up the piston Now with the top nut secure, you can untension these uh, the spring compressors. Now you got. A new assembly. I'm just gonna take the spring compressions off. I'm gonna take off any rust from the inside using this wire wheel. With the new assembly ready to go, I'm gonna install a bolt that holds it in, holds this uh, bracket to the strut, and I'm gonna have to maneuver this to get into the slot at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and place this in this hole. And I'm gonna temp install a couple of the bolts. All right, there's one. There's two. Push the control arm down while the tip of the pry bar is gonna be pushing this bracket up and hopefully it aligns. Using my 20 some inch breaker bar, I was able to get enough leverage. And now that I got it started, the nut will bring the rest of the bracket in. Now that the bottom one's torched, I'm going to be working on this bottom of the strut. these down and now you got your front ones done and it's time to move to the back now we're going to be doing the rear easy it's just two bolts top and bottom and they're going to be 18 millimeter like the uh like the fronts were We're gonna get our jack to support the bottom. Now with the nut off, I got the jack supporting the axle. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this nut up. And this is possible with uh, hand tools, but to save myself time, just so you guys can see this work, I'm just going to use my impact. But you can do it with hand tools. Comparing the new and the old one, this one's a little beefier compared to this, either the OEM one or the old version of this Bilstein. Now we're going to 
place the new one in place. Get our bolt through. Snug it down. And with that snug down, we're gonna snug the top down. And when this is tight, then we'll torque the bottom also. top and there's the bottom and then you can lower the jack and there's the rear pretty easy just two bolts hopefully it gives them a better ride now who knows how long or how old those old ones these bad ones are but I'm pretty sure they're due for a change and hopefully this video helps you guys. Y'all have a good one.